Children feature a lot in my work and that is because I believe it's easier for us to empathise with them. I also think that children bring out the best in us in that we feel their vulnerability. I'm really happy that in this show there are works of mine that are expressed in different media. Love that because my work is actually about ideas and one of the main ideas in the work, actually that motivates all my work, is the changing definition for us of what we consider natural. And as I've developed and matured in my work, I've lost any trace of irony that I had as a young student type art artist. The work is very sincere. We came up with the idea of making this space a very domestic one so that it became a very warm and inviting and almost cosy environment for people to encounter the work. Because I do think the ideas are quite hard in some ways. I think new life, even if it's a newborn and acute, is always kind of confronting. The Long Awaited, for me, has got many levels to it. I think the first level would be that the viewer would notice that one of the characters in the work is not human. And obviously it must speak to us about our relationship to non-human beings. If you go on from there, I think that it's actually a portrait of intimacy and love. It's a portrait between the love of, say, a grandmother figure and a boy. And the thing about this depiction of love is that the grandmother lets the boy nurture her. And to me, that is a very strong definition of love. When you allow someone to love you, and they have a connection that we can only, or I can only dream about. And that's why there's a kind of grotesqueness there in the work. It has to be there. But at the same time, it's got this real beauty and it's the kind of beauty that I want in my life. This real love.